Hi, my name is Hamid. I am a certified instructor, Cisco instructor at ASM Educational Center located in Rockford, Maryland. Our website is www.asmed.com at phone number 301-984-7400. Today I'm going to continue with the Call Manage Experience Part 2. I've done Part 1, I'm going to do Part 2. What I'm going to do, I'm going to review what we did. Basically, in part one, we had a PC connected to the phone, connected to the switch. We have another PC connected to the phone, to the switch, then connected to the router. Here, the link was trunk. We made, we made the router on sticks. We went on the router. We created a DHCP server to give IP address to the PC and also give IP address to this PC. And also, we created DHCP server scope for the give it IP form. So if you look at the, my router again, right here, this is the router here is. I created, we have a data VLAN 40, 10.40.0.x, which this piece is going to be what, 10.40.0.12. The voice VLAN will be 10.45.0.x. So this one, when I move the mouse, I can see that it's 10.45.0.13 with a MAC of, as we saw that, 52EC at the bottom. So that's the MAC as right here. This phone is going to have 10.45.0.11 with the Mac of BB.BB344 BB34 BB right here Mac is right here BB34 and this PC is 10.40.11 is 11 so this is 40 VLAN and that so basically what we did on the router we create a bunch of scope we give IP DAC pool data pool network 10.40 that's, that's the data VLAN default route 10.40.01 that's correspond to this guy and also IP DHCP pool voice VLAN, voice pool, network 1045, that's for voice, and this other. And this is an option 150, which we're going to use to call this call manage express. And also on the switch, we made a trunk here too. Now, if I go back to here, let's so show IP INT brief. I can re refresh your memory again from last class. This is the default gateway for this PC, 10.40.1. This is default gateway for the voice. Now, if I say show run, I can see I create a rod on stick. This is my DHCP, which I'll show you that. And these are my what? Rod on sticks. If you remember that from the last class, okay, 40 means VLAN 40, that's data VLAN. Dot, this is VLAN 40. This act as a default gateway for this site. And 41 is for management. And 45 was for voice. So this act, this is 45 for the voice and this act like that okay so basically that's what we did now watch this when I click here this is called add simple I click this guy I click this and I click that see I get success now when I go to in the right side of that when I go to simulation now watch this I say capture forward I just want to show you something it goes to the what IP phone it goes to the switch it goes to IP phone and it goes to PC one now why is that? Because they're same subject. Then go back in IP phone, go back to the switch, go back to here, and go back to PC. Okay? Now, why I'm showing that? Because look at how, what happened. When we did set up from the switch to the router, look at here. I just want to make sure you understand this. From the switch to router, we had to do manual trunk link, okay? But from watch this from phone to the switch this automatic trunk is I don't have to do nothing here from phone to switch automatic trunk that's what I'm trying to show you that right here oops sorry about that uh, what is it right here from phone to the switch is automatic what trunk but from here to do that that's what we want to show you the trunk port between the router and switch had to be manually configured at which we did with sub interface which was Rather than stick. Note, however, the data VLAN traffic, there's a data VLAN traffic and the voice VLAN traffic for each host is carried over the same link in multiple VLAN over that same port. On this segment, the trunk is automatically, this part is automatically created for you to that. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to configure the call manager expert on the router. So on this router, we're going to make this act like a call manager expert. Step one, we have to do first of all, you have to make sure that you have a correct what iOS on your things. Make sure you look it up on the Cisco website and make sure that your router has capability to become call manager. 
in our scenario when I say show version in my packet trace I'm gonna see that this is a correct bin numbers okay so if I go back to the router go back to router one one second let me close this all of that okay I'll go back to router one show version okay this one it does has what call manage express so the first thing I want to do is step one I want to enable telephony service by entering this command so you have to enable telephony services okay so you have to type that's the first step you have to do so I go back to router one on my router config t telephony service question mark enter I press that now when I put a question mark what you would you want to focus on these guys maximum e phone numbers maximum directory numbers and what IP the maximum e phone it will tell you the maximum number of iPhone that we have like in this in this case is two maximum DM is what maximum directory number supported and IP is defined IP address and port for the telephone service that we're going to use that correspond to option 150 which we talked before so I go back to here so I'm going to type in when I put a question mark first I'm going to say what max e phone max dash that's my let me show you that that's my step two is set the maximum allowed number of e phones that means same as IP phone in this case we have two phones look at the diagram we have what one and two if you have three put three if you have four you have put four okay and I wrote my note this can be any number but larger number means you take c c CPU so you don't want to say don't use more than two because you have two if you have if you have two two don't use five five means you can take a lot of CPU so I go back to here I say e maximum e fun question mark see I can put up to 42 but in this case I'm going to put two that's first thing you have to do okay I did that right here step C configure the maximum number of direct direct number later we're going to see that like 4001 4002 4003 4004 these are the extension of my direct number they call that. So in this scenario, I'm going to call it what? 20. It doesn't matter what number I use, but I'm going to use 20. So I'm going to use this one, maximum DN, max dash DN, question mark, I'm going to put 20. Okay? The next thing I want to do in my note, it says what? Enter the IPS of CME RAD. I have to tell who is my call manager express. The address is same as the option 150. Remember option 150, which we talked about in my diagram? In my router, in DHCP pool, remember that? We use what? Option 150. It has to match with this number. So you better use the same number, okay? So I'm going back to here. I type in question mark again. Now I'm going to type in what? The word IP. Question mark. What's the next command? Source address. Let me make this bigger so you can see better. So I'm going to type in source address question mark. What I need IP address. So it's going to be 10.40.0.1, right? Same as what? Right here. Option 150. Question mark. What I need? Port. Question mark. Then I'm going to use what? Port 2000. That's a default. Let's use 2000. Okay? So I do that. That's what I did. Okay, I did that. All of that right here in my notes. Everything right here. Okay. Now notice that when I do show run, I'm going to see this, and by default, the team is going to create a what? IP phone 1 and what? 2, okay? It's going to create what? IP phone 1 and 2. So I'm going to go back here. Uh, let's go back to router. Now watch this. Control Z, show run. I go down. See what happened? Right here, it does what? Create this. This is what I type in. Telephone services, maximum that. E phone, you have two phone, that's directory number, and this is IPS of option 150. Now, by uh, packet trace, is going to create E phone 1 and E phone 2. In real world, you have to create that. You have to say E phone 1, MAC address, what? 52EC. E phone 2, MAC address, BB34. Now, 52EC is, uh, let me see, where is that? 52EC is this one, okay? And this one is what? 
Mac of the other one for BB34, okay? Um, right here, BB34. So that's the things it does that for you. Okay, that's why I said that right here. Look at what happened. Notes, note in the packet tracer, the iPhone are automatically created for you that, okay? Here, the Mac address is that, okay? So, actually, let me change it because this was from another device we had it before. Uh, iPhone 1, let me copy this so it will be consistent. My notes, I copy that because I changed the phone. I had to remove the phone. Let me paste it here in my notes. Okay. All right. Again, on the package, it said the iPhones are automatically created based on the maximum iPhone app. Here, the Mac ID is also automatically assigned. On the actual router, we will need to enter MAC address correctly, okay? The next thing you want to do, assign the extension number. This is configured on the ePhone-DN. You have to give like ePhone question mark, you give tag like one, and below that, when I do ePhone one, then I'll put a question mark, you can put a number, I'll put 4001. Then I'm gonna do what? ePhone-2, number, that. So when I say show run, I'm going to see these two guys. So that's what I have to do right now. I want to assign my what? Directly number, okay? So I go back to router, right here, okay? I'm going to say what? Config, oops, sorry about that. Config T, E phone, dash. Let's put E phone, question mark, okay? You want to do what? DN. Don't put E phone because we already have E phone. You need direct number, okay? dash dn question mark tag i put one okay so it went up that's good now i'm going to put a question mark here look what happened i needed what a number number question mark now i'm going to give what four thousand what one that's one of them exit upper key e phone dash dn two number four thousand what two so when I say show run, that's what we have. I have what? That's extension 4001, that's under this, and 4002. Later on, I'm going to link 4001 to this guy and 4002 to this gentleman, okay? All right, so let me copy this because I changed my notes. Copy e phone one right here. Paste that. All right? Okay. That's that far. Under each e-phone, now we're going to go under what? Each e-phone right here. We need to define the model number and also assign the button, okay? So that means I have to go e-phone 1, which we're going to do right now, e-phone 1. When I put a question mark, oops, sorry about that. When I put a question mark, I'm going to see button and I'm going to see type. I'm going to explain what the button does that. So let me go back to here. So now you want to focus on these two guys, e phone one and e two two. So I'm going to say config t, config t, e phone one, enter. When I put a question mark, look what happened. I need the what type. I have to say what type of phone is that and bottom. I'm going to talk about bottom is later on. Type question mark. Now here I'm going to use this type seven nine sixty seven nine sixty. Now I'm going to say button. Watch this. Question mark. I have a two numbers. First number, second number, okay? Now, let's look at our diagram. If I double click this, oops. This means one, first line. This means second line, third line, fourth line, fifth and sixth, okay? Now, when I say E phone, watch this. This is a little bit tricky. Just pay attention carefully. When I say E phone one, that means I'm talking about what? this number then when i put a question mark see the second number means that number so i want to get 4001 get to this one this is 52 ec let me see 52 52 ec so i want to make sure that this guy get what 4001 extension okay extend I'm sorry about that. So back to here. Sorry about that. Back to here. It's a one, 
one. So, what does that mean? Let me say show run. How does that work? This means what? Aha! It did register. I'm glad it's, it did work. Look at this. It did register right here. See, one means what? My bottom one means this guy right here. See, 4001. See that? This line got what? 4001, which I can see got four number, right? Then this number, this one correspond to what? To these number, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing for what? iPhone 2. I gotta give a type and I gotta give that. So I'm, gl I'm glad I see this one. See, it did register that. I'm gonna say config T. I'm gonna say what? iPhone 2. iPhone 2. Enter. Question mark. What I need? I need a type. Type. Question mark, the only type is what, 7960, is 7960, right? Oops, sorry, what that? 79, what, 60. Then I put a question mark, what I need? Button. Question mark, one, question mark. One means what? Is what? Right here, one means this guy, the first line, okay? Now here, you gotta be careful. When I say one, then the second number, I'm gonna put two. 2 means that means I want to pick what? This guy, 4002. I cannot say 1 1, I gotta say what? 1 2. Press enter. Just wait. Let's see if it takes some action. So, show run. Aha! It did register. See? Has registered. That's very good, okay? So, if I say show run, I'm glad it works. So, 1. This is iPhone 2 is. Where's the MAC address? Right here, BB34. Where's the MAC address? BB34, this phone. Now when I double click this, see one means this line and 4002, this two, this two correspond to what? This one. Now let's say if I have iPhone DN3, number 4003, then I can say what? Button two, button two, of course the package just doesn't work. Button two means this button one, button two, then I give the other numbers. That's so on. That's all it is, okay? So right now, everything looks good. Okay, I do all of that. See, I see register, all of that, okay? iPhone two, and do same thing for iPhone two, and see all this registration. 4001, and all of that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, see 4001 right here, and then what, 4000 do. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna test it, make sure we can dial, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go to back to here, open up, see, you can hear a beep. Then we call what? 4,000, what? Two. See, it's dialing the other phone, can you hear that? Good, let's go here. See, it's, it's ringing, see, it says from 4,001, then I'll pick it up, connect it, then they can talk. All right, so it looks good. Okay, so let me summarize. So I see that right here, the picture, everything we have right here, okay? So 4001, you pick it up and all of the diagram. All right, and that's that one, okay? So let me summarize what we have here. On the router, when it says show run, right? Right here, my notes. Oops, sorry about that. These are my what? IP DHCP. These are my, my pool is. This is the data pool. Network 10. Default router. Again, I don't have to have this. I just put it there. And this is the voice VLAN, okay? As I explained to the last video. Okay, this is this very important option 150. Okay, then I go down. I say what? INTF00. This is for sub interfaces. To actually define for data VLAN, this is that sub interface for management, and this is for voices, which we've done that. Now, when you come down, then you go under what telephone service. That's step one. Step A. First, you have to turn on telephone service. Step B is what tell how many maximum that. Then step C is this means maximum DN numbers, and this number better match with what with this option 150. Okay, that's that one. Then after step E, step F, then what you do, you have to go, I'm sorry, step E, you're gonna define your, uh, what do you call that? 
direct number 4001 4002 then you're going to say e1 remember that packet trace this is automatic creator for you there okay and this is automatic create for you but in real life you have to hard code it then you got to do type bottom one means the first bottom like your first bottom on the phone this one correspond to this one this bottom means the bottom on the the machine and the, in the things and this two correspond to this two okay so that's it and this is my switches with a show run basically remember that on F01 you have to be what trunk port and the rest this is data VLAN this is voice VLAN data VLAN voice VLAN and this come from last video all right so that conclude our voice please make sure you go back to the part one and look at your notes too thank you so much again look at this I can go back here this is 4002 I pick it up I said 4000 what one it's done in the other one I double click this it's picking up okay thank you you have a good day and by the way all of this is going to be our website later on we're going to upset this is our website is www.asme.com if you go to here blocks we have CCNA CCMP you see CCNA block right here now if you go to one of these guys like if you click here that will take you to this link and here it shows you well, some old like a multi-layer switch we put all the notes then the video is going to be at the bottom I hope you enjoy it now if you have a question comment you can send us to email or call us 984-7400 and 301 thank you you have a good day bye Oops.